All right, today I'm going to teach you how to make this lovely privacy screen for use during your video conferencing. I know you're at home, you're either studying, you're teaching, you might be holding meetings, and your roommates are running around, or your children, or your significant others, or anybody else in the house, and you don't want your the people on the other end of the video to be able to see what's going on behind you. And you may not have the, the luxury of being in a separate room that you can completely set up, so I built this privacy screen out of some very inexpensive materials, cost me about $10, that you can assemble in a few minutes. And the nice part is that because of the way I assembled it, you can easily take it down and put it back together, slide it under your bed, put it into a closet as needed. So let's get started. Okay, to build our privacy screen, what we need are some parts. So I'm using half inch PVC pipe and half inch PVC parts. You can build yours bigger if you'd like. They have three quarter inch and one inch. It'll make it a little bit sturdier, but also a little more expensive. We need four T connectors, two elbow connectors. I've got a Sharpie for marking, a hacksaw, a tape measure, and then I have three 10 foot sections of pipe. If you don't have a hacksaw, you might be able to get the people at your friendly neighborhood hardware store to cut these up for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm going to measure off a five foot section. So I'm decided to make my privacy screen five foot tall by four feet wide. You can change yours to be any size you'd like. This is very flexible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark off at five feet. move that out of our way and normally I would use I would use some kind of a bench but recognizing that maybe not all of you at home have woodworking benches I'm just going to use a regular chair to get this off the ground put on my glasses so I can see and then I'm going to cut through the PVC pipe it cuts through pretty easily And there we go. We now have two five foot sections. Now, because I want to build my cross beam part, part way through, I'm actually going to, or part way down, I'm actually going to cut each of these in half so that I have two two and a half foot sections. So I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my tape measure again, and I'm going to measure out 30 inches which is two and a half feet. I'm gonna do that twice, once for this one, and once for this one. You wanna to try to be fairly accurate so that, so that your uh, screen ends up being sort of square and stable. But once again, I'm going to cut these pretty quickly. So that's one, and this is two. Now, these are my uprights. So I'm gonna set these aside, I'm use them a little bit. Next, I'm gonna build my cross beams. So I've decided to make mine four feet wide. Again, you can make yours narrower or longer. You'll just need either a little bit less or a little bit more pipe. So I'm going to mark off a four foot section here. And once again, cut. That's one. Another four foot section.
All right, so those are my two cross beams. So now, so far, what I have is four two and a half foot sections for the vertical piece and two four foot sections for the cross beams. Now I'm gonna make the feet. So I've decided to make mine each uh, one foot long and we're gonna need four of them. So I've already got a nice two foot section here because I took eight feet out of my 10 foot pipe. So I'm going to mark off a one foot section and once again, I'm going to cut. You could potentially get by with shorter feet. And if you have a little bit more limited space, you could probably get away with nine inch feet or something like that. But the taller it is, the bigger the, you want the feet to make it more stable. So that's two. I've now got one more 10 foot section. It's more than I need, but that's what they had at the store. So that's what I got. So I'm gonna mark off a two foot section because it's easier to do the two foot. And then the one foot here, we can be a little bit less precise with the feet because it doesn't matter quite as much. So I'm gonna first cut the, the two foot section off. And I'm just gonna slide this out of my way. And then one more one fit section, and then we're ready to assemble. All right, I'm going to set my hacksaw aside. So now, as you can see, we have four one foot feet four two and a half foot vertical sections and two four foot crossbars. I'm done with the chair. Let me move the chair out of my way. And I'm also done with these. So set those out of my way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is assemble my vertical sections. So I'm gonna take my T's like this, and I'm going to put that back together. I take my second one, And I put that together. So now I've got two vertical sections. On the tops, I'm going to put my, my elbows. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these and assemble my cross beams. So I stick one four foot cross beam here. And then I put the other one at the top here. Okay, last thing to do is to assemble our feet. So I'm gonna take my two, four one foot sections. I'm going to assemble one foot like this and another foot like this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my feet onto the ends here. And then I stand it up. And there we go. I have the makings of my, of my privacy screen. What I've decided to do is I've grabbed the sheet. I've grabbed the sheet here. And I'm just going to, this is a queen or a king size sheet. I don't remember which. I'm just going to throw it over and I have a privacy sheet. So that's how you make it. it. Takes a couple of minutes, not including your time at the store. It ended up costing me about $10 to make, not including the sheet. And hopefully that'll help. Thanks a lot. All right, now that you've built your privacy screen, you may not always have the luxury of, of keeping it up. Maybe it's in the way of other people. So this is very easy to take down. I just take my sheet off. I fold it nicely and put it away. And then it comes apart just as easily as it went together. I can pull this part out. 
hold this. The other cross beam off. And I can slide that easily under the bed. If I need to take the feet off, I can take those off too. And as you can see, I don't need a lot of storage space to slide the parts.